Developers are proposing residential complexes at two sites here on Guam capable of housing a combined total of more than 20,000 people. Projects aimed at providing the accommodations needed for the workforce involved in the military buildup. According to land use official Carl Antalon, the Yonex Corporation is planning the largest of the two on this sprawling parcel of land in Dededo, not far from Two Lovers Point near a sewage treatment plant. A map of the proposal reveals the complex would practically be its own village. It includes housing for up to 18,000 workers in addition to recreation areas, stores and even a fire station. The second project is proposed by developer Nanjo Busa and would transform these largely dilapidated apartments in Harmon into workforce housing for more than 2,000. The timing of the plans means GovGuam would regulate the Harmon project under an older set of regulations than the project in Dededo, which would see stricter oversight of housing standards. With the new Guam Land Use Commission resolution, one of the major differences is that workforce housing facilities can only be, be located in the light industrial zone and it's not an outright permitted use but a permitted conditional use which means you have to go before the land use commission anyway. Antalon says the plans are geared towards helping Guam meet its labor needs ahead of the buildup. The, the, it's not just limited to uh, off island workers. In terms of dormitory housing it's open for local workers as well. Developers for the two projects were not immediately available for comment today. Stefan Sebastian, PNC News.